I've been a professional web developer for eight years, working in both back and front end. But what's surprising to people is that I didn't go to school for computer science. In fact, I never took a course or even enrolled in a coding bootcamp. And I didn't get into the field until my late 20s. So how did I learn to code without a computer science degree? And what can you learn from my story? Stick around and find out. It started back in high school when I discovered the internet and began making web pages dedicated to my obsession at the time, snowboarding. I taught myself basic HTML and CSS so I could customize my pages and fill them with animated GIFs and blinking text. Hey, it was the 90s, what do you expect? Looking back, it seems crazy that I didn't consider computer science or web development in school. But to me, it was just a hobby, and I assumed I would become a doctor like my parents wanted me to. But that didn't pan out, and instead, I spent the next several years struggling to figure out a path. What happened? In college, after dropping the whole pre-med thing, I decided to embrace my creative side and major in art. I graduated with a photography degree and got a job working in a commercial photo lab. The lab was fun and all, but it only paid $8 an hour. Also, the entire film photography industry was a sinking ship. Film was being phased out and replaced by digital cameras. Less than two years after I got there, the lab went bankrupt and things got bad. I was out of a job at this point with an obsolete degree and I didn't know what to do. Eventually, I found temporary office work, scanning papers, stapling, stuffing envelopes, and generally being a lowly cog in the corporate machine. Not the most glamorous work, but it paid the bills. Mostly. For a number of years, I floated from gig to gig and paycheck to paycheck. But one temp job I found ended up changing everything. One day, while scouring Craigslist, I found a job posting for a data entry position. I was comfortable doing computer work, so I applied for the job and was hired. The company was a small web dev shop that had multiple clients with websites. I started out doing simple tasks like updating inventory in their computer system. But as time went on, my bosses started teaching me some backend programming and database work. The job paid okay, maybe $10 to $12 an hour, but it was only part time. I mainly stayed there because I was gaining experience in programming and learning some valuable skills. Learning programming was tough, but it was also rewarding. And I was getting good at learning new skills. For example, I learned how to find solutions on my own via Google. You see, my boss would get annoyed if he had to explain the same thing more than once. I learned that the hard way. I also took detailed notes to remember new things, especially if I'd spent a long time figuring it all out. Then the next time, I could refer to my notebook for the solution instead of Googling all over again, or worse, asking my grumpy boss. After two years working at that web dev shop, I had gained a lot of programming experience, but I could still barely cover my living expenses. I knew I had to make a change, and that's when things really got going. After two years at the Craigslist job, I felt like I knew enough coding skills to apply to some actual web developer jobs. There were a lot of rejections because of my lack of experience, but eventually I landed an interview at an advertising agency. On the day of the interview, I ended up impressing the boss with my listening skills, note-taking, and willingness to learn. Everything went well, and they offered me a job. An actual job, with a salary and benefits. The whole nine yards. I'm pretty sure my mom did a cartwheel when I told my parents about getting hired. They were thrilled. But getting the job was only the beginning. Starting out in a new field is never easy. And after all, I only knew basic coding at that point. So how is someone who is essentially self-taught going to succeed in a fast-paced job like this? I'm going to be honest here. The first year of my new job was super stressful, and I struggled with imposter syndrome big time. My boss and coworkers had all gone to school for computer science, and some of them had even gotten master's degrees in it too. I was terrified that I would be found out and fired due to incompetence. And it didn't help that so much of my work required completely new skills. I would have to spend sometimes hours on tasks that I know my boss could complete in 30 minutes or less. Personally, I hate being bad at things, so feeling like I didn't know anything every single day kind of sucked. 
But I stuck to it and did what I always did. I googled. A lot. I always tried to find the solution myself before asking for help, and thankfully my boss was willing to point me in the right direction when I did get truly stuck. I ended up staying at that job for six years total, and over time, I became more competent and confident. I even got promoted to a senior level developer in year four. I learned a ton at that job, not just coding itself, but how to learn new skills, especially if you're self-taught. If you're learning to code, here are my biggest takeaways from my time there. First, I learned that I could figure out how to do anything with enough Googling. Of course, you might not be able to build a super complex app if you're still learning basic HTML, but you can build up to that eventually. I also learned how to reverse engineer code. I could study existing projects at my company, figure out how it all worked, and then turn around and use a similar solution for my new projects. You can do this yourself by inspecting the code in existing websites and finding projects on GitHub to learn from. Now, I'm not suggesting plagiarizing someone else's code, but learning the principles behind it so you can do it yourself. One of the biggest lessons I learned was that imposter syndrome is hard, but it really does get better over time. At some point, I was picking up a new skill almost every day. Combine that over all the days in the year, and it added up. So by year five at my job, I wasn't afraid of things I didn't know how to do anymore, because I could trust in my own skills to get it done. I've since moved on from that job, but I'm still working as a web developer today and earning a six-figure salary. I hope that my story can inspire you. If you're thinking about getting into web development, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on coding.